Hello friends! Welcome back! I'm so excited to hang out with you guys today. I'm about to head to the post office. I have to do some returns and I also have some packages waiting at the post office for me. So I'm really excited to hang out with you guys today but before we leave and get in the car I wanted to show you guys this lip product. It is so so pretty. I bought it because everyone was talking about it on TikTok. It's the Tarte Cosmetic Something Something Lip Plump. Lip, lip Plump. It is so pretty. I will link it down below for you guys. I paired it with MAC Cosmetics Soar Lip Liner, which I've been wearing the Soar Lip Liner for ages, you guys, since I was like 20 years old in like 2013. It's been a very long time. Um, yeah, literally almost 10 years. It is my favorite lip liner. I have backups of it. I've been trying the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk in medium though. I want to try that and see if it's very similar, but so far Soar MAC Cosmetics Lip Liner has been my favorite. So I'll link both of the lip products down below for you guys. But this is the Tarte Cosmetics Lip Plump Lip Product <laughs> in the color Primrose. I definitely am going back to Sephora to get a few more colors. I only got one because I wanted to try it out, but oh my gosh you guys. It is so pretty. I am obsessed with it. It is so pigmented, but it's not like, you guys know back in like 2015, Anastasia Beverly Hills came out with those like opaque pigmented lip glosses that just felt so heavy and so thick, even though they had beautiful color payoff. These are just like not the same. I thought they would be, and I thought I would really hate this product, but it is the perfect amount of color. You can dab it on for like a really light look or you can just go ham like I did and it's oh, I love it it's so pretty I'm like I said I'm gonna go back to Sephora and get more colors this is primrose but I think I'm gonna go back and get like cherry blossom I think that's the second color that I want to get but like I said nice amount of pigment I love the color payoff um, the smell is great very slight smell not overwhelming if you are not into like scents and stuff it's not gonna give you a headache I promise you barely can smell it but if you do smell something it smells like cookies it's not like sweet or fruity it's also very hydrating super moisturizing on the lips if you have chapped lips like me all the time it feels amazing on the lips. Not sticky at all. It applied like cream, like literally cream on your lips. I went by the sun a little bit to show you guys, but too bright, too bright, back it up. Also, another thing is it's uh, minty, but it's not like the super minty feel that you would get at like Bath & Body Works. You know how at Bath & Body Works, they have those like lip gloss, hydrating, chapstick products. And those are so minty that sometimes it's like, overwhelming this one is just the perfect amount of mint i feel like tarte really nailed this so i am quite obsessed with this lip product i hope that sephora has the other colors i did order primrose online so we shall see but let's go before the post office closes what you guys doing huh? <laughs> hi cutie god he's so cute are you trying to get your ball are you trying to get your ball here you go. And then your log. You guys, look at their bucket of toys. What do you want, old man? What do you want mommy to get you? Mr. Squirrely? Do you want some popcorn? No, you don't want that one. Do you want this one? <gasps> moon. Yeah? You want moon? Okay. Oh man, it's taking everything. And then we have. Carrots? He's just dropping them. He'll, he'll get whatever he wants. Hey, is this from Madre's house? Yeah. <laughs> what else? You want popcorn? Does anybody want a, um, a ladybug? Free ladybug. Hmm? Oh, Cooper took the carrot. What else do we have in? We have fishy. I am reminded why I don't wear lip gloss a lot. It's so, ugh, you guys, it's so windy. Not like so windy, but you know, like just hair everywhere. I usually wear my hair up if I wear lip gloss, but would you even consider this a lip gloss? I don't even know. I am, oh my God, can you see my car? It's a mess. I have to get my stuff. 
I always carry tape in the car because I have to tape up this Amazon return. You guys, if you ever return anything to Amazon, I always like open everything and then check it out first. And if I have to return it, I just get like, if it comes in a bag, I just get the bag and turn it inside out and just reuse the bag. I'm sure a lot of you guys do that, but I was stupid and before I was like sitting there like peeling off the shipping label. And I was like, Kim, you can just turn the bags inside out and ship that way. So I'm just returning a dog collar that didn't work out for the boys. And then I also bought a lens. This is literally how it came, don't judge me. I'm just putting it back the way that it came. I bought a lens for my camera, but it didn't work out. Um, it didn't even fit my camera, which I was so sad about. It was like false, false advertisement. I basically got scammed. Um, and then I had to check on a package. It is so hot outside today too. I'm so excited. So lately, my Starbucks location has been running out of matcha. And you guys know the matcha latte ice is like my favorite drink at Starbucks currently. Um, I like have so many favorites. But then yesterday this girl recommended the vanilla chai something latte I think. And Carlos and I really enjoy it. So I'm gonna get some for us. Oh, let me order. I think this is the one. Hopefully it's so sunny outside today. Hello, how are you? Hello, good, how are you? Doing great, what can I get for you? Um, I got a drink yesterday. I don't know exactly what it's called, but I think I kind of remember. Okay. Um, it was like a vanilla chai latte with vanilla, s or with sweet foam at the top. Okay. Okay, so I think I got it right. Do you want um, like vanilla syrup also in it? Oh, uh, no, I'm okay. So just the foam, and then what size? Um, can I have two grandes extra ice? Extra ice, okay. And that's it for today. Awesome, see you up here. Perfect, thank you. Oh, hopefully I said it right. Okay, so basically a few years ago, years, years ago, everyone was on this like chai latte thing, right? And I was like, let me try it. So when I tried ch the chai latte for the very first time, I said, absolutely not Kim Tai. You will never order this again. It was not my thing. It gave me, the, at least the one that I tried was very like cinnamon, cinnamony and I don't love cinnamon that much. I only like cinnamon on like French toast or like cinnamon rolls, things like that. So I didn't love it too much and I never got it again. I was honestly so traumatized. I said never again. So, oh wait, I'm paying with my phone. What am I thinking? I'm all over the place. So then yesterday, um, she was like, sorry, we're out of the matcha latte until next week. Um, she was like, would you like to try the vanilla chai? And I was like, oh, I tried it once, I didn't like it. And she was like, no, 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 no. You have to try the chai with the vanilla, um, and then I'll put sweet foam at the top. You guys, it was so good. So hopefully I ordered it right. Um, hopefully you guys heard what I ordered so you can try it as well. This is nothing new though. Everyone's been drinking chai for a while now. I'm just super late to the bandwagon. To the bandwagon. I'm super late on the bandwagon. I don't know what I'm saying. But hopefully I said it right and the order's right. But it was so good yesterday. Even Carlos likes it. So I think we like found our current favorite new drink. Until the matcha's back. Then I'm all for the matcha latte again. Oh, <gasps> did she add vanilla in here? Oh, it's supposed to be vanilla chai. Okay, grande ice chai tea latte, vanilla cold foam extra ice. Oh no, I think she didn't make the chai vanilla. Oh, it still tastes very good. Oh, I don't actually know the correct order, but this is so good. Honestly, it's something I would order aside from the matcha tea latte. Mm. It hits. It is so clear outside, you guys. Look how blue the sky is and how clear it is. Not a single cloud in the sky. Wait, is that a song? Is that a song from that movie that's really popular? No, I don't know what I'm thinking of. I am at El Pollo Loco. I'm getting Carlos, um, he's been craving the, uh, the chicken to, uh, I don't remember what it's called. Oh my God, I'm having a brain fart. Is it the chicken tostada uh, salad with the creamy avocado cilantro sauce? That's why I'm here. 
he's been craving it so um, he's gonna eat this and I actually I'm so excited to make my beef bowl when I get home this is the salad that he loves the signature he gets the double chicken the signature tostada salad um, but you guys have to try this with their creamy cilantro sauce um, or dressing it's so good it does not taste the same without in my opinion but yeah they have the double chicken the Baja shrimp or you can just get the classic chicken but it's really good the outside shell of the tostada hopefully I'm saying that right um, of the salad is the same shell that they use for like fried like I think it's like fried wontons it's so good um, so at the end you can just like break up the shell and you can just like scoop it's delicious you guys make sure you guys check that out I literally discovered that because Carlos's mom that's like one of her favorite meals ever um, and when we started dating we would get this all the time for dinner when we would eat with his mom so I love it um, it's so good I it's it's absolutely delicious so make sure you guys try it if you're looking for like a salad with a little bit of like extra crunch you cannot tell me that this really quickly from far away doesn't look like a rat oh man are you okay Oh my gosh, she just hit my tripod. You okay, Bubba? I'm home, as you guys can tell. I need to tidy up this house. Hello, but first and foremost, I need to go try new makeup. Come with. I'm so excited. I just got this mirror. I don't want to blend you guys, but I just got this mirror from Ikea. I think it was $20. It is huge, you guys. Hopefully, I'm not going to blind you right now. Oh, we're good. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I got this mirror from Ikea. I'll try to find it online and link it down below for you guys. But I love the color, like the light oak is so pretty. And I love how big it is. You literally can see everything when you do your makeup. And it basically sits by pulling this part out so then you can like lean it on something. Isn't that so cute? This is my other one that I got from Home Goods that I was using. But do you guys see how much bigger the Ikea mirror is to um, the black one. I'm still going to save this one. This one was like maybe like $15 at Home Goods. I'm going to use this for the first time today. I got this months ago and I'm just now using it. But yeah, you just like lean it like that. I think it's so cute. Oh, did it break? Oh, mine scratched a little bit, but it's okay. Um, yeah, it's so cute. You can like leave it on your vanity. I think they have it online. I'll try to link it down below for you guys. I also got, let me move this real quick. I also got this hairspray that a girl recommended on TikTok and I wanted to try it. It is from Sephora and it's called or Orb, Orb, O-R-I-B-E. And it's a hair plumping mousse, sorry, not a hairspray, a hair plumping mousse. And then this one is a hairspray? I think so, yeah. This is like a, volumi a volumizing hairspray or something. But this brand is like really good, this Wow brand, apparently. So I'm trying out new products, I don't really know yet. But the reason that I got the mousse is because the girl that was using it, she said, if you have hair that does not keep your curl, the trick that she always uses is she'll, um, on dry hair, she'll take a bunch of mousse, which this is the one she uses, and she'll like run it all over her dry hair, and then she'll brush it through, and then her hair will dry up, and it'll feel normal, and then she goes and she curls it. So I think I'm gonna try it next week when I have hair extensions in because I actually don't have any hair extensions in right now. This is 100% my hair and I feel very, uh, I will have to say hair is probably one of those things that I'm very touchy about. Like I get self-conscious, conscious, conscious. I don't, oh my God, am I saying that weird? I just like don't feel confident without hair extensions because I feel like I don't have a lot of hair. Like I have really fine hair and I feel like my hair is really flat. Um, so I just feel more confident with hair extensions, but I'm giving my hair some time off and I've been giving it time off for the last week, but it's kind of dirty right now and I feel like it looks like even flatter than usual. I'm trying out these new products that I just got. This is the L'Oreal Bronze Police in La Terra, color 01. And then I'm using this. Actually, I tried this. No, I didn't. I didn't try this. I tried a different one. This is the Physician's Formula Matte 
um, Mono Butter Bronzer. And so I'm trying this for the first time today. So I usually don't nose contour that much. Um, but when I do nose contour, I use this product right now. Um, actually, I've always used this. I've been using this for years. This is the Rodeo Instaglam Compact Deluxe. And this is in the color 03. I've been using it for a pretty long time. I only use this for the nose. And I like it because, as you can tell, it's not too warm. It's kind of like in the cooler tone family. But when it lays on my skin, it makes it look really natural. It also like creates a really nice shadow. If you hear growling, um, your two favorite dogs are here, Riley and Casper. They literally cannot be in a room where they just don't play fight. So that is what, oh, Riley just left. So I am going to try nose contouring with these two. I don't know if you guys remember, but I think back in 2017, um, I got a nose job. There's actually a vlog on my vlog channel somewhere. I'll have to look for it. I think it's it just called like I got a nose job or something. But I got a nose job and I highly regretted it. I regretted it so badly. So at the time that I got it, I will say I was very happy. Like I feel like the day that I got it, I was extremely happy. It was something I felt like at the time I needed to do. And I feel like a few months after that, I slowly realized that I didn't need it at all and I really missed my old nose. The good news about that was that it wasn't a permanent nose job. It was a, uh, it was, uh, basically there's like two nose jobs from what I know. One is like the surgical one where you actually go under and they like, cut up your nose and like stitch it all together and you like can't breathe out of it. That's like an actual nose job surgery. Uh, this one that I got was basically an injection. So where I went to get my lips done at the time, the doctor there also did like, he did like boobs and stuff. Like he did like surgical stuff, but he also injected it's very popular now, but I think at the time it wasn't as popular. But basically, they inject this thing into your nose to give your nose some height. So if you guys look at my nose, every not everybody, but most people have a really high bridge. But my bridge is very flat. There's literally no bridge here. So I have the hardest time finding sunglasses that fit me because I don't have a bridge to hold up the sunglasses. So growing up, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say that this like happens in every single Asian household, but I will say in most Asian households, um, you just grow up being very judged for your image. And I don't think that you know our moms are out to get us. I think it's just like part of how we're raised and then how they were raised, so they just naturally do the same thing. I will, however, not do this to my daughter because I feel like the typical, like the stereotypical Asian way of raising your daughter is just so mentally abusive. Um, they're basically, I feel like a lot of the times our Asian moms mentally abuse us without even fucking knowing it. Sorry for my language. But I, it's true, like growing up, like I just felt like I always had weight issues. Even when I was skinny, like I look back now and like in high school, I was 120 pounds. Like I was really, really tiny. And I just remember like always like hating my thighs because my mom would like, you know, make little comments. And she, it's not that she's a bad person. I just think it's like the typical Asian mother thing to do is like make comments about your kid's weight and stuff. I don't know. It's really hard for me to explain. I feel like if you are Vietnamese, then you understand where I'm coming from. But growing up, I was always like, you know, told, oh, your nose is too short. Your nose is flat. Like, oh, when Kim gets older, we're going to get her a nose job. Both of my sisters and my mom have a nose job. So growing up, like I was mentally prepared for it. Like I knew that when I was 18, I was probably gonna get a nose job. And um, thank goodness that never happened. Uh, my mom really never pushed it on me. She was not gonna like 
you know, tie me up to a chair and make me get a nose job. It wasn't like that. But it's like little like smirky comments here and there that really get to you. So growing up, I always had this like idea in my head that my nose was fucked up basically. So in 2017, when I found out that you could get a nose job without making it permanent, because when they inject your nose, it's kind of like injections in your lips, they eventually just fade. So I was told by the doctor at the time that after the nose injection, that I would look kind of funky for like a few weeks, but then after a month, it would go to, it would end up looking like a really pretty nose. So he like injected this part and like made it higher. By the way, um, the doctors there are like amazing. This was like in no way their fault. Um, but I just should have done a little bit more research, but I feel like I did research at the time and I didn't find anybody because it wasn't popular at the time. No one told me that it doesn't take a few weeks. It takes months for you to go back looking normal. Um, so I think I got it done like April of 2017 and I would say that I looked weird for literally six or seven months and I regretted the whole thing. I'll try to find some pictures. I started missing my face so much, you guys. Like I felt like the bridge of my nose was like too high. So it made my face features look really weird. I remember I did a makeup tutorial and I think that video is still up on this channel where my nose just was so like... It made me look really different and that's when I started realizing how much I didn't want a nose job and like regardless of what my family was telling me and what I've been uh, told growing up that I personally didn't want to do it so I shouldn't have to do it like I actually ended up appreciating the way that I looked over time and realizing that it matters about it. All that matters is how you feel about yourself and what you want to do. Um, you know, like for example, I used to get lip injections because I really like it. Um, but with this nose job, eventually I really regretted it instantly. I feel like after like two months, I automatically regretted it, but thank God that it wasn't permanent. So I guess a good thing about it is that I'm glad I went the injection way and not actually the surgery way because had I done an actual nose job surgery, I would have been stuck with that nose for the rest of my life. But because I attempted a non-permanent way, I was able to kind of go through a trial and error and I was so grateful. It was honestly a blessing in disguise. Um, like I said, there was nothing wrong with the doctors. The doctors didn't do anything wrong. The place is actually really amazing, but for me personally, it just didn't look good for me. But also now looking back that I'm like much older, I look back and realize that there was so much pressure of me to get a nose job and thinking that that was like what I was molded and meant to do that I ended up doing it. And I just, you know, I just want to like let you guys know if you are dealing with like if you guys are teenagers or maybe younger that are watching or who knows, even in your 20s and you feel pressure from other people to do something, don't do it. Like, I also felt pressure at one point to get lip injections because I felt like I would look better or whatever. I actually ended up really liking lip injections, so that was a good move. But now, like, lip injections aren't a priority to me anymore. Um, if I want them, I'll go get them. Like, I got them done last year. But if I don't want them, then I don't want them. And the beautiful thing about all this is it does dissolve. Um, I think unless you get too much, right? Unless you get too much, then I feel like it, it like, moves all over the place. But, yeah, I feel like, yeah. Looking back now, I'm so glad that I'm able to, like, discover who I am deep down inside and... That's really important. I feel like that's a really important message to like get out there. Um, no matter how old you are or what stage of life you're in, you have to do what makes you happy and what makes you feel good um, and eliminate all the noise. And that goes with nose jobs, lip injections, uh, plastic surgery, uh, and it goes with like life goals and career choices, where you want to live, who you want to be friends with, what you're passionate, your hobbies, uh, what career choice you want to make. It goes for everything. You have to make what's best for you. And if you go through a situation like me where maybe later in life you realize that, ooh, that was like a bad mistake, it's okay too. Like you're still, you're learning and you're growing. And that's how life becomes so beautiful because you're evolving from everything. And you should be changing and growing up every single year um, and making mistakes and growing from them. Look at my new mirror. 
I know, I made it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> oh, I didn't make it. I put it together. Well, yeah. It wasn't even bad. It was literally a screw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Oh, you're warm. <laughs> Just turn the AC down. Turn the AC down, baby. I'm dead. Oh, but not too down because then it's hot. We have a heat advisory. Um, well, Riley also gets Ugh. hot pretty quick. Yeah, he so. starts huffing and puffing. Did you finish your drink? I did. It was really good. You did? Yeah. Mm. I like this more because yesterday it was way too sweet. I will say, you guys, when this is watered down um, with extra ice, it tastes way better. It's not as sweet. Yeah, it, it's, it's really sweet. It's really good, though. I'm going to, um, oh, this is the new lens. Do you like it? You have to stand here, baby. Wow. Here, come stand here. I had a great time. I got a new lens, you guys. Do you guys like the quality? But look, babe, when you like... No one wants to see your hold hands. On, on. Whoa. That's crazy. <laughs> Dang. Wait, but like when you're like, you know, like vlogging up close. Ooh. That's cool. We love this lens. I like that. Yeah, it's a good lens. I really want to clean up the house. <laughs> he left. <laughs> you want to help me? <laughs> the Celtics play game number three tomorrow, so he's like stressed because they won the first game but lost the second game. And you have to win what, babe, four? Yeah, so there are three games away from winning. Okay, no, he's gonna. If I let him explain this, he's gonna explain this to you guys for the next 30 minutes of this vlog. No, not even. But the good thing is that they're playing at home the next two games, so you'll be fine. <sighs> they so. play honestly. I've never met a sports person so stressed. He's gonna probably come back and say more things. Oh. Okay, bye. Ah, oh, you guys. I don't know what to eat. <laughs> I think I'm going to eat, um, we have some Green Chef bags in the fridge. This is not sponsored by Green Chef. We actually eat Green Chef in this house. And we have some meals in the fridge. So I'm thinking about making this meal today. This is their Sriracha Tamari Beef Bowls. And I think it looks so good. Here's the thing though. I've always made my jasmine rice in my rice cooker. You guys know that. You've seen that in a lot of videos. And this one is teaching me how to make rice in a pot. So I'm really excited to try this out. Like I said, not sponsored by Green Chef at all for this video. Have I worked with them before in previous videos? Yes, but we are honestly huge fans of Green Chef. They make really, really good food, a lot of choices. They have so many choices to um, choose from. And I feel like a lot of um, my viewers are very like on the go, college student, working, maybe don't have enough time when they come home from work to make dinner and stuff. So I like that like everything comes to your door and everything is like pre-cut and pre-measured in a bag. So you just open it and literally start cooking. And they have a lot of meals to choose from. So we choose, I believe, they have like keto, they have like maybe vegan or plant-based options. They have a lot of options and you can always change it up. I know a lot of people use HelloFresh, but fun fact, HelloFresh actually bought Green Chef, so they are sister companies. But I think I'm gonna, I love how I just like gave you guys a whole thing, but I honestly really do love Green Chef. So today we are making this because I didn't go to the grocery store, so that is what we're doing. And Carlos already ate El Pollo. And this looks good. comes with these directions, but I'm a visual person, so I like the visualness on the side here. Okay, bring jasmine rice, one cup water, and one fourth teaspoon salt to a boil in a small pot. Oh, your toenail went in my toenail. Sing our song. Sing song. I don't remember it, man. Sing it. I don't remember it, man. Na, 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 na. Wait, wait, yeah. <laughs> uh. We can't do it alone anymore because they want to join us now. Well, you have to carry Koopy. Look, see? Koopy, come on. I'm bringing this to a boil. I've never made rice in a pot before. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. I've never seen you. Because I use my rice cooker. Why do you have to make it in a pot? Oh, because it's a little bit? 
Well, I'm just trying to follow these directions. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, because I also don't want to put only a little bit of rice in that either. Right. Okay, bring it to a boil, stir, then reduce heat to medium low. I ate a bollo loco double chicken tostada with creamy cilantro uh, dressing. Ranch? Dressing? Dressing, baby. It, it, it was so good. If you guys have not tried it, you guys need to try it. It is wow. Okay, um, it says, oh, Alexa. Yeah. Set timer for 16 minutes. All right, you guys, I just put in the meat that Green Chef provided. We're doing beef tonight. Yeah, my lip gloss is minty. It's, it's not burning your lips. It is. You're so dramatic. It's burning my lips. Oh my god. It's burning my lips. Okay, stop being dramatic, Carlos. I'm serious. My lips are burning. No, oh my god. No, it's not. My lips are burning. Then why are you still sitting there all laughing, huh? Oh, it hurts so bad. Stop it. Baby. <laughs> I'm allergic to No, you're not. You eat mint ice cream. Uh, no, I don't. Oh, my. Carlo, stop being I've dramatic. Never, I've never had mint in front of you. Baby, stop. Baby, my, my lips are actually swollen. They're not swollen. It's Baby. the... You're fine. It's the plumping effect. Look. What? No, dude, what's up for women? Let me see. I hate you. You guys, he's literally over there pouting his lips. <laughs> Men are so dramatic. I love you, Casper. My favorite part is that I don't have to wash the veggies because they're already washed. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at the coloring. It's so pretty. Look at all the colors. We got green, purple, brown, <laughs> yellow. So, oh my God, it looks delicious. We're still waiting on the rice. And then we'll just like put the bowl together and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Friends, look how yummy. I am so excited. The rice turned out perfect, by the way. Oh my God. Oh, it smells so good. I'm going to eat this and then take my makeup off. The rice is still hot. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. This was so easy to make and so good. It's so hot though. I will say the only thing is. It's not enough rice, but I can always make more. Mmm. There's still more in the pot, too. Is it like super hot? I don't make that. You're, you're okay. Wow. Mm. How good is that? Mm. Mm. That's really good. Wow. You want some? No, I'm okay. Yeah? I'll either have some later or tomorrow. Wait, that's so good. Right? Yeah. Oh my god. That is good. Is that beef? Yeah, beef. It's they're the beef is so good. They have really good beef. Every yeah. time we get beef, it's so good. Oh my goodness. Mmm. That's bomb. What did we have last time that was pretty good? Um, we had like beef noodles. Oh yeah, those were bomb. You guys know what else I love about having Green Chef? I can keep the recipe cards and just keep remaking these because the meals are so simple and easy to make. Wait, that's so, I love their beef. I love the seasoning. I like it too. The, the, what's it called? The flavor. Wow, it's really good. The sriracha was perfect to it, you guys. This is what he does. He finds a, a, a pile of pillows or blankets and he has to like lay in between them. Koopy's over there. And Casper's getting a massage. And don't say his name. He said he's shy.
said he's shy. Oh, oh my gosh. The cars. Fry. Oh, Bubba. No, it's because the cars, baby. I know. Ugh. Look at the mess that they made. <laughs> it's always my room. <laughs> uh, you know what's funny, you guys? They they don't really take the majority of the toys to outside of the man cave. It stays in the man cave. Yeah, so now we get this mess right here. Look. Guess who gets groomed on Saturday? Everybody gets groomed on Saturday. So on Friday, I think we're gonna, we have this thing that we haven't used. It's a water, uh, what is it, babe? Like a water a sprinkler. They're like it's, sprinklers for kids for the like summertime, a, it's right? It's like a flat circle, you guys, and you connect it to your water hose. And um, do you wanna get off, baby? You connect it to your water hose, and when you turn it on, water shoots up like a fountain. And you get to run through it, and I think the boys will really like it. We didn't get to use it last summer because we got it too late. Yeah, so we're going to use it probably on Friday because they get groomed on Saturday, so they can get a little bit dirty on Saturday, on Friday, you know? Yeah, and then... We would use it Saturday, but Natal Natalia comes pretty early, so we don't really have time. And I'm thinking about cutting Casper short, but Carlos wants to grow him out. He looks really good when he's long. I don't know if you you guys remember how he looks when he's long, but he looks so good. The only downside is that he does start to shed a lot when he's long, but he looks so pretty. He looks really good when he's long. Maybe we can start after summer? Oh, fine. It's up to but you. But they're inside with the AC, man. What do you man. think? What do you want, Bubba? Look. They love that bed. Where's uh, old man? Old man's over there underneath the, the my desk, I think. Oh, yeah, he's right here. You guys, the bowl was... I have one broccoli left. The bowl was so good. I ate that like in five seconds. Hey, Casper. Say hi, Papa. He said he's tired and you woke him up. How good are these ears? Casper, say hi. He said hello. <laughs> say bye. Aww. Aww. I got this drink at 4.30. It is now eight o'clock and I'm still not done with it. <laughs> I take forever. Are you guys the same? Do you take forever to finish Starbucks drinks or do you suck them down right away? There are some days when I'm really thirsty, I can suck down a green tea lemonade in two seconds. But I feel like these, cause they're a little bit heavier um, with like the sweet foam and stuff, it's a little bit harder too. I've been meaning to show you guys this. We literally <laughs> decluttered the whole entire closet, you guys. I donated. 10 bags of clothes. Two of those bags were shoes and 10 of those bags were clothing. I donated so many things. I mean, look at my sneaker collection, you guys. I literally decreased it by like 50%. And honestly, it felt so good because a lot of the shoes I wasn't touching, so it's gonna go to someone who's actually gonna wear them. Um, so I'm really excited. Here, Mom. Oh! Here, Mom. Yes. She likes the sandals. Oh, it's a bit more Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And they gave us the bags that they gave us in Oh, you're Oh, No, they're like black. Oh, see. Oh, see. Oh, see. Oh, see. Oh, see. Oh, Oh, see. Oh, see. Oh, see. Oh, see. Oh, see. Oh, Oh, Look at it. Look at all the vans. That one is nice, right? Yeah. yeah. Tell mom to get. You, you can tell yeah. you can wear casually. Yeah, so it's put on the jeans. Well, take it. That's cute. Cause you have these. That's too big. Oh, that's my size. Or those. And I'm home. Look at the inside. 
Um, that's all we have. Thank you for coming, and that's all I have. We instead, I needed extra room for like crew necks and stuff. You guys know I wear crew necks on the regular. I literally love crew necks. I live in them. So what I did was I had some extra shelves here. So I went on Amazon and got these dividers. They are amazing. I'll link them down below for you guys. But it just divides the section into little compartments so I can kind of organize things better. I just folded the clothes and put them up, but I think I'm going to go back and color coordinate so I can kind of pick clothes easier. But, oh my gosh, look at these organizers. I mean, these dividers, they're amazing. They basically just clip on. Let me show you. They just clip onto your shelves. So it really depends on how thick your shelving is, but it works for mine. Let me pull this out for you. There we go. So they had a bunch of different dividers on Amazon, but this one was my favorite because it's really sturdy. They're not going to move, which is like amazing. Like, look at that. And they're nice and thick. And I love how clear they are. But basically, they look like this. And you take this and you basically just clip it onto any shelf and slide it in. There you can divide your clothes. So I will leave the link down below for you guys. I saw them all over TikTok and I had to buy a few to try them out. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. I really enjoy them. If you're looking to maybe organize your crewnecks like me, organize your sweats, your shorts, all of my t-shirts are organized. You can even use them to organize your purses. Let's say you like really like small purses. You can line them up or maybe clutches, whatever it is. You can even divide shoes. You can divide anything. You can use them in the pantry. You can use them anywhere in your office. Oh my God, to divide books. Whatever you want. I will link them down below. I truly believe in them. I got, I think, oh my gosh, I don't even know. I think I had, I got like 24. It, it was like a lot. I love them. They're really, really good. And our room is honestly a mess, but we are finally going to remodel our bedroom next month, I think in July. So we're finally gonna do the wall that I've been talking about. We just got this rug. This rug is from Rugs USA. I will link it down below for you guys. I was gonna wait until I do like the master bedroom remodeling video, but I figure I would mention like little things here and there. And then for that video, I'll like mention everything at once. But this rug right here is from Rugs USA. I'm pretty sure I will link it down below for you guys. It is so beautiful. I love the color and it's so easy to clean because actually one of the dogs had a little bit of an accident right there and we just use the this thingy. This is amazing. I'll link it down below as well. It'll suck up your soul. It'll suck up everything but literally no marks or anything and it's so soft. It does move so you might want to get like rug gripper which we are getting but I love it. Not sure if you guys have noticed, but we don't have dining chairs anymore. Um, and you just ignore him. He's gaming with his friend Daniel. Uh, Daniel lives in Pennsylvania. It's so cute. They like game together all the time. But anywho, um, if you guys haven't noticed, or if you have, there are no more dining table, or no, the dining table's right here. There are no dining, no, 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 no more dining chairs. Oh my God, I'm all over the place. I'm also parched. I really need water right now. But there are no more dining chairs. I'm actually collaborating, um, not, I wouldn't, I don't want to say collaborating because then you guys will think I like designed the chairs. I didn't design the chairs with the company. I'm partnering up with a furniture company um, and they are sending me new dining chairs, which I was so excited about. I was like, wow, I'm so grateful for this opportunity because they're my dream dining chairs. So I'm so excited for that. I ended up selling our old dining chairs on Facebook Marketplace, which if you guys have never been on Facebook Marketplace, it's like the best place ever. I'm gonna turn on Laguna Beach, <laughs> MTV Laguna Beach, and clean, cause that dining table is looking like a mess. Also, if you guys are huge Laguna Beach fans, if you guys didn't know, Kristen Cavallari and Steven are doing a podcast together that should be coming out in July, and I saw that they are gonna have Jason on the podcast as well. I wonder if they're gonna have like surprise guests, like maybe like old cast members, but I'm excited. If you guys know me, I'm a huge MTV Laguna Beach fan and The Hills. I am literally obsessed. It's my comfort show. It is, I don't even know how to explain it to you. When I'm like really stressed or like a lot is going on or I feel 
just like I need to like relax if I turn on the show something magically happens I'm sure we all have like that one show in our lives mine is MTV Laguna Beach something magically happens I completely leave my body <laughs> it's like an out-of-body experience I love it but I'm gonna turn it on and I'm going to clean. So the new dining chairs are coming, I think next week. So they should be like here next week. I'll film the whole process. But I'm honestly so grateful that I got such an awesome uh, sponsorship. It's, uh, I just feel so grateful because I just started, I feel like last year, like really digging into like home decor and being really interested. And it's just really cool to work with like some of my favorite home decor brands and um, be able to like get my dream items, which is honestly such a blessing, such a privilege, such a dream come true. Like I am honestly so, so thankful and so grateful for that. And honestly, thank you to you guys for like watching my videos and continuing to support me because you guys play a really big part in a lot of my blessings. Uh, I mean, including the fact that you guys are one of my biggest blessings. But thank you for your love and support. It's just, I wanted, I mean, I do this all the time, but, and hopefully I'm not annoying some of you, but it's really important for me to remind you guys that I wouldn't be where I am today without your love and support, and it never goes unnoticed. So thank you so much for that. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you guys the new dining chairs next week when they come. We'll do like an unboxing and they're really, really pretty. If you guys watched my vlogs last year, then you probably know what dining chairs I'm talking about because I actually was going to get the chair for my bedroom because I honestly could only afford like one of the chairs because they're actually so expensive. But this company that I'm going to work with, um, which I've worked with before, they have the chairs but way more affordable, 50% off. So I'm excited to share with you guys the company and the chairs. I think it's really going to elevate our dining area. I feel like I'm always like upgrading the home um, and changing things around because I really enjoy home decor and I feel like I if my mom lived closer I would probably go to my mom's house and just like redo her whole entire house but I'm also like a homebody home is like where I am the most comfortable I work from home I am such a homebody I don't love leaving the house every single day I really am like deep down introverted and I just love being home with the dogs and with Carlos and like watching TV and hanging around around the house and I think that's why my house is really important to me and I like spend so much money on the house because it's kind of like my like my canvas and my creative space and I also love just changing things around. It makes me happy. Um, so I don't know. I'm just really excited for this partnership. And then also I'm hopping on a phone call with Brian and Jocelyn in a little bit. They're at dinner right now, but once they get home, we're going to hop on a phone call because we have some really cool plans for this wall right here that has our TV on it. Brian is actually going, we're gonna film like a whole video about it, so don't you guys worry. But for this wall right here, I'll insert some um, some photos and some videos on the screen right now, but we are actually gonna do a whole entire media build out, build out, built in. <laughs> we're gonna do a whole entire media built in for this wall, and I think it's gonna look so cool. I'm actually giving these night or these TV stands to Brian and Jocelyn. So once we're done building this wall, they're gonna take these uh, TV stands, which these were so affordable. If you guys are looking for affordable, um, affordable tar uh, affordable furniture pieces that I feel like are really good and very also good looking and aesthetically pleasing check out Target Target has really good hidden items and I feel like the price points are honestly reasonable because furniture can get so expensive especially if you're going for like West Elm and Crane Barrel living spaces I feel like sometimes even like Ashley's furniture is like really expensive as well but Target's have, Target has some good pieces. But yeah, we're gonna do like a built-in media system. I think it's gonna look so good and really tie in the whole entire living room. Um, also adds value to the home if we choose to sell our house later on, later, later on in life. But oh my God, things have been, things have been so crazy in our neighborhood. Literally about four or five of our neighbors who moved in to our neighborhood at the same time as us. So this December will be our two year anniversary living in this house, which is so crazy. I cannot believe in six months 
we've already knocked out two years living in this house. That's so crazy to me. But about like four of our neighbors already sold their houses and they got literally, you guys, I'm not even kidding, like $250,000 more than what they bought the house for. Like it is crazy right now. Like the houses in this neighborhood, not only are selling so fast, our neighbor's house sold in literally a week. Our other neighbor's house literally sold in literally a week. Like it just, it's off the market right away. So it's crazy, but we are not selling the house. We love this house. We actually, our goal is to put this house up for rent and buy another house, hopefully closer to our family. But that's like our five to 10 year goal. Not, not anytime soon, but you never know what could happen in life, right? I never thought that we would be able to buy a house like this and basically live here. So you just never know. But a girl can only manifest for the future. I encourage everyone to manifest and like work hard and write down your goals and stay focused and eliminate the noise in your life. Um, anything can happen. That is literally the model in life. Anything can happen and you honestly can do anything that you believe in and you can do it. Don't even let the noise bother you.